hello everybody, welcome to my uh, second round match, round of 32 match versus Caprion and his vampires. Um, as you can see, he's got blo three bludge ones, a strength up, an edge up, no pro, but plenty of bludge, some sidestep. Rackle Frenzy, only one tackle on the entire team, so that's interesting. Rackle Frenzy, thrall, ra wrestle, strength up block, thrall, kick thrall. So uh, I'm actually quietly confident of this game now that he hasn't got the wizard. Um, I did sack a ghoul and a zombie so that to deny the wizard, and he didn't sack things back. I guess you know I've got them four mighty blow players, which is a little bit scary for for uh, thralls. So very happy to not be facing a wizard. And uh, we've got Gorilla Mezzo and Flicky Flack in commentary, so I shall hand over to them and I shall try hard. So goodbye. Good goodbye, morning. Jim. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. We've got some undead. We've got their vampire masters on board. Who's going to win this one? My pick is for Jim because he pays the bills. Wait, we're getting paid, right, Flicky? I believe so, yeah. I think that was the original one. We'll just bill him our invoice after the game. If he's victorious, he might be too happy to uh, to argue it. Anyway, Jimmy, fantastic versus Caprion. Uh, second round of the CCL playoffs. They are just a few wins away from winning absolutely nothing. Uh, but it's always a you know always a prize to be sought. Jim's never won CCL. I don't know if Caprion has or not. Uh, but in this uh, in this case, I think we're going to be firmly behind Jim in this one. And uh, yeah, what do you think, Flicky? Going up, up against a pretty decent-looking vampire team. Nothing too special in the inducements, but vampires can really uh, can really take the game away from you uh, on, on uh, pretty quickly. What's Jim got to really focus on here? Yeah, um, I mean, vampires with a vampire specialist as well in Caprion. Um, I played him recently, and he is a very tough competitor on on vamps. Um, I think Jimmy's just got to do what Jimmy does. He is a very, very good bash coach, and I think he's just got to grind them down as much as he can, remove those thralls, pick on the, the vampires when he can. Um, he's on defense, which is excellent for him. That was a very nice uh, toss to win, and getting to go on D versus the vampires first, try and soften them up. Um, yeah, and when it's his offense, he's just got to protect that ball, double screen from the gears, um, and just keep punching things. And I think he'll, I think he's going to do it. Absolutely, hypnotic gaze is a public offender number one in this game. Uh, I'm going to disagree a little bit with the whole Jimmy's got to do what Jimmy does because that <laughs> there's a lot of latitude for that statement <laughs> in which he gets sad on turn two and is done with the game by turn four. So I think Jimmy, uh, <laughs> I think Jimmy's uh, Jimmy's got to remove some thralls. Hope Caprion removes some thralls and get this to uh, uneven numbers by halftime for his drive. And uh, obviously he'd be real happy to stop the score here. Um, yeah. A little, you know, that can be tough to do against vampires. You know, they got a, you know, they got the strength advantage on the ball carrier and it's easy for them to punch a hole in uh, pretty much any situation with hypnotic gaze. So it could be a little Glorious. bit tough, but boy, no, would Jim love to see one of these vampires. Vampires, one of these vampires defend. go off the pitch um, in the first half. Would I be like a big sure hands and I oh, can not lie. Been talking you other brothers time, can't deny. With that no one an orc who walks <laughs> in with an itty no bitty waist skills, and doesn't outrun um, his cage. I think cage. it's got to be that agility he vampire. If ever he gets yeah. a shot at him, I think he's got to take it. Um, try and get him off the pitch at any opportunity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, now, no... No kill skills on the uh, on the vampire side that I see, right? No, no nothing. Does nothing. have a tackle for the ghouls. Tackle frenzy. That's an inter to wrestle tackle frenzy. That's an interesting piece there. Or so play it. Is, Excuse um, me. Strength three could get himself in trouble with uh, with the frenzy. Jim's you know smart enough to leave some frenzy traps on for him. Yep. Also, no guard. Uh, you know he's got the strength four on the vampires, so that helps. But. Uh, Jim, you know, Jim with a couple guard here. Yeah, uh, they're, they're a bit like a slow skaven, aren't they? In that, you know, they've got an awful lot of trash, and then they've got the four superstars that can yeah. do anything, go anywhere. But obviously without the speed, but with the strength and the hypnogears. 
I, I got to tell you, that str- the guy who just threw that block there, that strength, that mm. block strength up, I think maybe I'd like him to have been a guard instead. Oh, and wrestle right off the bat here. Yeah. Can't re-roll that. Nice. No. He thought about it. He just sat yeah. on it for a little while. I mean, three re-rolls, no lead and no pro. Yeah. And um, now his, uh, his frenzy's already going to be working against him here. If he yeah. doesn't get the knockdown on the first go, he might end up in base contact, assuming he doesn't frenzy trap himself. It looks yeah, like he's not going absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yep. So this could be this could be bad for him. Nope, he gets it on the first go though. Yeah, there's not many pieces where you turn down um, the plus strength for guard, but I think there's a few linemen, isn't there, in the game, and especially points in the team where where you really need guard, where you know, like a Wood Elf lineman or a Norse lineman can turn down that strength on a team. Oh, that really and look needs at this. Guard. This is. Ew. Jim will take this first turn all day of the week. Absolutely. Gets out of it with no damage, no e- not even any stuns, and he stunned one of his own players. Now the ball's already in the hands of the vamp, so not nothing, uh, not nothing, nothing doing down there. I don't think Jim's going to push too much pressure down that way, no. if any. But, but uh, pretty but, nice start. Yeah, and it's left the vampires all compacted in. So here comes Jim. He's going to get that guard. In both of those little corners there. Really put the pressure on. There's going to be an awful lot of base contact for the uh, vampires to deal with at the end of this turn. Certainly. And this is where that guard advantage comes in. That zombie can move right in there and lock down half of his thralls. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going the other way with it. Yeah, he wants to hit. Yeah, he just wants to hit the strength five also. Good move. Yeah. And now Caprian is in a world of pain here, especially if this yeah, ramp man. goes down, and he does. Here comes the palm hit. Not a natural break. Oh, wait, no, it was. Oh, he KO'd him right off the bat. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. My replay was ahead of me for a second there. <laughs> Turn one, and off he goes. One of the best players on the pitch, probably the best player on the pitch. I mean, the agility is amazing at, uh, at gazing, but anything else without dodge? Isn't ideal. There we go. Now Caprian could, in theory, hit that uh, hit that Palmer back um, if that's what he wants to do. I, I feel like that's the the player on the pitch he's going to want to get rid of the yeah. soonest. So can he hit him back safely without leaving that agility vampire to get punched by a block mummy though? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it depends on where he wants. I mean, in theory, if he wanted to, he could. Well, no, he doesn't have blocks. So yeah, he's got to get that. Uh, he's got to get him out first. Yeah. I guess we could free up the strength thrall with a yeah. pow from the frenzy. And he could do the blitz, and then the agility could run away. That might be the plan. The uh the blodge step vamp could also technically dodge blitz over and in. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he could. <laughs> Pedro, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I want, you just I want meant... ask who is who. <laughs> I I know I know what he meant. <laughs> He's been calling me VGP for weeks. Rock now. Hard today. <laughs> That makes me undo. Okay. Oh, two plus on the gears. Uh, no good. Trying to get the mummies um, guard out of there, but no good. Yep. My replay for us. What the fuck? Blood pool. Uh Get ready, folks. I'm going to say that word a lot. There we go. Oh, as Jimmy would say, don't be mean, J5. <laughs> don't be mean. You can be mean to me as much as you want. I don't mind. Okay, blitz on the mummy. Gets him. So Armor does. holds on that mummy, though. And that agility vampire is right there. 
surely we can find a way of engineering a hit on him. Yeah. I mean, Jim's entire team can just come across and just and just sweep sweep the vampires over to this right side yeah. here. Yeah, I don't think there's any issue getting a hit over there. We can chin out the blood. Oh, no, actually, no. He's sidestep, isn't he? Got one guard on him. I don't think it's going to be a problem for Jim to get a second one. Just having a look at how he gets him, and then he can hit him with the palm. I don't know that I'd have taken that dodge. No. I mean, he's taken that... a mighty blow hit if he doesn't take the dodge. Yeah. But now, I mean, but, but... now you've freed up your mighty blow to go somewhere yeah. more useful. And now he can hit that agility vampire into more mighty blow hits, which yep. is even better for Jim. Yeah, unfortunately, Jim's guard zombie a little bit far away to be relevant uh, to hit that. But that's got, I mean, I, I, I got to believe that's what Jim wants to hit right now. He could, in theory, try and get in front of this uh, strength up thrall and, and take the hit with the, uh, the non-palm mighty blow. But I gotta believe he's gonna want to just keep hitting vamps right now. Just the push doesn't get to free anyone. Got one more shot at it. Oh, this is good though. This is a, this is good because he can chain this. Uh, if he gets the knockdown here, he can chain that zombie forward as an assist. Yeah, that's a nice spot. But he can't get the second assist in, so it would only be a 1D. Yeah, 1D into 2D from the other Mighty Blow might be worth it, as long as that yep. ghoul comes back, um, just as a bit of cover. And then once the other ghoul's done his job, does get the pow. Oh, he actually can. Oh, he can get the other assist in. Oh, well, well, well <laughs> done by Jim. He needs another uh, oh, needs yeah, another knockdown. Nice. Oh no, he doesn't because he's got the ghoul right there. Oh, he's not going to bring him in. Yeah. All right, yeah, this is some some nice chaining by Jim to set up this two D. Gets the three D. Yep. And it's just pushing those thralls further yeah. and further away from the action, more in trouble. And just like that, at the start of this turn, I said that guard was not relevant. Well, yeah. I was proven very wrong. Although, Absolutely. oh no, he's got a problem here though. Now he can't. Oh, he's hit. Oh, he's hitting from this side, of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking just, at the back end. Yeah. yeah. Just means he can't chain him into an extra block, yeah. but um, I think it's worth it to get to make <laughs> sure of the KO. pump. Nice. I think uh, Caprion here's gotta gotta consider. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Caprion's gotta, gotta be thinking score in two now. Yeah. I don't see how he. I mean, he's too far away though, isn't he? Yeah, he's wait. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he, now, now Caprion does have a babe, so yeah, he doesn't need he. You know, he doesn't need to K or to to think about the apple on those KOs. Yeah. Probably probably safer to just take your licks here, try and get try and get a quick score, and then go on defense. But yeah, that's gonna take a lot of dice right now. He could pop. No, he can't pop a hole. Yeah, he could hypno. He can hypno something. <laughs> yeah, he can <laughs> hypno the white the mummy or the yeah or the white. Blitz through. Yeah, hypno the mummy would create a hole, wouldn't it? And then blitz. Yeah, but then he, he hits the side stepper. Or he can hit the zombie to do it. If the if the if the mummy gets hypnoed here, he could hit that zombie yeah. and have a very tight hole. He wouldn't get a ton of a. Uh, ton of forward motion but he's just gonna go right through the ghoul instead that's not terrible yeah actually that's probably much better so gets the white which means strength for it's the ghoul <laughs> yeah j5 fair 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 enough j5 <laughs> you know what we meant <laughs> okay Oh, is he going to have to uh, – he can't sideline Cage. I don't know what he's doing. I guess he moves him through to screen and then just – he's going to – Yeah, he's got a couple of thralls and then one more that can potentially dodge. The others are all locked oh, he's up. Oh, he's going to eye Cage. 
two GFI eye cage here with the ball. I mean, that mummy is close enough, though, isn't he? I guess he tags the mummy, maybe. Yeah, he's got the wrestler there to get in the way. Yeah. Oh, he fails the GFI, though. Here's oh. the reroll, and he makes it. So here's your eye cage. No guard on either side of the eye cage, but the only two guarders relevant are probably going to be tagged up. Might be hard. No. Well, that'll help. Yep. Jim can still get. He can still do something here. <laughs> oh, that's a nice dodge. Oh, that helps. That. These these dodges, yeah. these three plus dodges are going to help a lot. And that's what we were talking about with that hypno gaze. You know, in the most dire of circumstances, it can still punch a hole. This yeah. might be good enough to get the score, but it's a ton of time for Jim to respond. Uh, so he can't be feeling too bad. But if both those KOs come out, it's uh, <laughs> there. Then we're starting to talk about all those double screams screens for the hypno hypno gaze. I mean, we can get a dice on the ball here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, I was thinking he was going to hit the wrestler, maybe bring the guard in. He might just be considering the yeah. red D. He might be considering the red D on the ball at the end of the turn. Because he's got wrestle tackle, so it's a pretty yeah. good red D. It is. But he does get a mighty blow hit on a vamp there. This could be bad for Caprian. No, he hangs on. Still has two vamps on the pitch. He's uh, in proper sage mode here. Yeah, I think we're getting an end of turn red dice on the ball. Yeah. Definitely now. Then the other, only other option was... Uh... Um, blitz and double base, but I didn't like that with um, with strength with strength around it. Doesn't get Here it. Go. So he gets to sidestep himself in range, which helps a little bit. No GFI required now. Jim doesn't even bother basing him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean this this encourages him to uh, to try and score. And if you're Caprion here, I, oh gosh, is he thinking about it? Oh no, he's just getting, him... yeah, he's getting him ready for the bite. Okay, no. good. I thought there was a briefest of moments where I thought he was setting up a screen. <laughs> All right, and there you go. Uh, yeah. A four turn score by Caprion, not the way he wanted to play it, but he uh, recovered as well as he could from a disastrous first turn uh, to open his drive does get the score it'll come down to some ko's but those are three pluses and he makes the bull yeah that's huge so but... now oh go go for it sorry Scarlet. sorry man interrupted you no no i just stopped I, I said go for it say what you're gonna say i'm just talking out of my ass <laughs> yeah i mean huge ko's but uh, jim's got to be happy with uh with five turns um back Vamps are better on defense, but, you know, Jimmy wants this game in his hands, and that's exactly what he's got. That's pretty accurate, J5. Uh, one of my best Camry games, I, I realized I had played a season of Camry in Blua, <laughs> but they were, uh, it was one of the weird Blua seasons where we had bizarre teams, and uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, did, I undervalued uh, Surehand's pickups on the ball, because I, I ended up with the ball on a uh, on a palm blitz raw, and uh, I made the blitz, and I was like, ah, I can pick up the ball again to win this game. I, I really want to pile on. So I piled on with the ball, dropped it, and then proceeded to never pick it up again in that half and lost the <laughs> ball. It's one of my, yeah, one of my greatest Kemri moments ever. Yeah, those Kemri and picking up the ball, they are rough. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely J5. Everything comes back to how many games you've played with Kemri. Hey, 
Les touchdowns ne vont pas tarder. Le sorcier du studio m'en a promis au moins un avant le coup de sifflet final. I, I mean, I was dominating him too. I was like, it was the first half, it was my drive, it was 0-0, and I had removed like five players with my Palmer before he ended up with the ball, and I was like, ah, this doesn't mean anything. I can definitely pick this ball up in the next three turns and score, and I didn't. <laughs> So, um, is Blower still going? I can't remember seeing it stream. It, it is. It, it is. It's the final week of a season, and they're about to reset. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone's looking for a kind of kind of wacky rules but pretty laid-back league, uh, hit up Vil Vilenik, uh on, on Twitch and get the details. Okay, there you go. Now is the time for anyone watching to, uh, to sign up to Blower. Anyway, Jim here, his, uh, yeah, so obviously scoring uh, scoring in five is uh, very, very doable for Jim, for this team, but he's got to contend with that hypnogaze. We already saw what it can do for you, and uh, that's a deep kick to have to deal with. It is. A 4-3 roll, though, it is nice. Uh, he's kept his pommer. Off the line, so he's going to be looking to blitz with him. Obviously, there's a lot of strength four that he's looking at, but um, just needs the one guard in there, and he can get get a hit on one of the vamps. Doesn't look like he's uh. Oh. Doesn't look so like he's doing going, that. Yeah, maybe going safety first, no blitz. Maybe yeah. only blitzing if. If not, if somebody doesn't go down on the line. Uh, well, he can get a hit on the. Uh, well, I don't think he wants to take that hit. No. He's not. Yeah. No, maybe not. Uh, he could. G there. He can GFI hit this. Uh, this thrall at the end of the turn, probably. He can, but then it's uh, sort no. of. No, he's just gonna do it with the zombie with block. He's playing it completely safe. Yeah. I think that was the whole point of leaving the Palmer off the line is that he didn't want him to get blitzed on a blitz. So I guess yeah. he wouldn't stick him out there where there's no protection Absolutely. for him. Absolutely. And he's got a, a pretty good double layer here. Uh, so now he's just got to retrieve this ball. And then yeah. we'll see how aggressive Caprian wants to be. How'd you go with sure hands getting the job done? Caprian could, though, punch a hole here. He could hypno this... Uh, Flicky, he could hypno flicky flack the zombie and then blitz the palmer and have an, a hole through for. Ooh, that could be a bad. That could be rough, but it's not a sure thing because it would it would involve some dodging or a four plus on the uh, on the hypno. Yes, he'd have to yeah. Do it in the tackle zone. Then he's taken that square away. But I don't. Yeah, I mean it's fine getting the vampire through after that. The thralls wouldn't be really be able to do much. Yeah, um, and I think he would leave himself a bit overcommitted if he brought too many through anywhere. I agree, but it's a deep, you know, that's a deep, you know, even for yeah. a ghoul, that's pretty deep for him to be at. Having anyone back there at all applies pressure on Jim. Yeah, he's he very much has to reconcile. Right now, yeah, yeah, needs he... to reconnect. So we're just taking the easy blitz. Yep, gets the wrestle he's... again. Yeah, Caprian keeping his entire team in front of Jim's. Uh, you can't really argue against that at all. No, <laughs> um, no absolutely. But just the wrestle blitz. Uh, that no, not not going to be happy with that. So and Jim now Jim can use up. his entire team to defend the ball here uh, and get because he can't really progress too much this turn. It's the next couple turns where he needs to put those yards in. I'm sure he'd like to take a juicier hit this turn. Yep. Although really anything he can get off the pitch helps him score right now. So he might just he might just be content hitting a uh... mm. No, he's going right in. <laughs> yeah, the guard going in. Another guard going in. Yep. He's so coming after that the edge match. Again. Yep. But is this going to leave enough protection on that ball? Mm. A little spooky. Already, yeah. yeah, we've seen what vamps can do. If they get, you know, two, a couple of, um, 
couple of three pluses, suddenly your what you thought was a watertight defense suddenly <laughs> yeah. does not look so watertight anymore. Uh, hello, Satterfield. Uh, I think it's going pretty good. Jim had an incredible uh, turn one on defense. Uh, Caprian just had a pretty disastrous start. Put him in all sorts of trouble, but, you know, Vamps can punch holes with Hypnogaze, and that's what happened. And uh, he was able to, to four-turn score it, so now Jim's on the response here. Uh, he's got four re-rolls and four turns, so he's not sweating bullets yet, but Anything can happen with vamps. Yeah, no I'm a break. Hey, hey, Kill, how are we doing? <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, Kill. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So, yeah, that uh, no armor break on the agility. Oh, Jim's just keeps uh, keeps changing his mind on that zombie. Finally decided. I, I quite like that position. It reduces that first gears um, chances and takes out the square for the second gears on the white. So, yeah, I quite like that. Je suis accro à Game of Gnome, la série d'Hbouille. On ne sait jamais quel nabo en bagouzé les auteurs vont tuer dans d'atroces souffrances. C'est d'un brutal. Ensuite, j'ai du Docteur Flux, un voyageur du temps infecté par la pourriture de Nurgle qui se promène dans l'histoire et contamine tout le monde. C'est du bon. Mais that is a really good point. Twice hot. He has not bloodlusted. Not no, once. he he hasn't. Absolutely not. I'm sure. I'm sure that's going to be foreboding for him because at some point it's yeah. definitely going to happen. So here's the palm taking a hit. He he's got him. What'll happen here? This could be bad. Is he uh, pushing he is, him back into a foul as well? Yeah, totally fine here. Can he get? Well, nah, not not really. I was wondering if he could get a uh, hit on a. Uh, on a mummy here. He can. He can, he can bring the rackle round for the second assist if the strength drops in. Yep. No, he decides not to. He, yeah, that would again that's that whole don't you want your team between the undead yeah. and the and the and the goal line right now. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's again just that one guard, just one key guard somewhere. Oh. And there's uh, there's oh. a death. Rando death on a guard oh it's the guarder though, and he is out. He is he dead is. and out. That sucks because that's going to stick for next, you know, for the rest of the tournament. If Jim can yeah. advance here, losing a guard never fun. So the the attrition plan so far not working out at the moment. We had two KOs, both came back. They're not self removing at all because to do that they have to fail bloodlusts. I mean, to be fair to Caprian, he's only activating his vamps when he absolutely has to. Like, on the first turn, he didn't activate one. Absolutely. This has been some responsible vampire play. But here's uh, some oh, rough I... stuff here. He fails the Hypnogaze. One Ds a skull, loses a reroll. So he's only got one for two turns now. And just a push on the result. Yeah. And uh, he needs to do something here. Because right now he's on the wrong side. He has still got a couple of guys to respond, though. But that was a bit of a risky 1D, because if that goes down... Now, does he make this a 2D, or... I think he's going to. No, he's not. He's just going to... Now, why wouldn't he hypnogaze that mummy? Yeah. For this foul? Uh, you either hypnogaze, or you dodge out first. He would have had it. He, he would have had it if he'd hypnogazed successfully there. Yeah. He just lost out on two assists. So there is space if Jim wants to go right. I think he I think he he must have forgotten. Like there's no reason to not mm. hypnogaze. Oh, maybe I mean unless he didn't want to activate his vampire. If he was worried about activating his vampire, fair enough, but for a for a plus four foul on a on a palmer i think mm. i think it's worth the risk i think so if he's staying there anywhere then yeah absolutely and if now he if he now, if, you know if he bloodlusts there i mean that's the thing if he bloodlusts there it's it's a, it's an even trade because he bites well i guess he bites the strength four so maybe maybe you lose him but you're not losing any 
you're not losing anything from your foul there. So I, I think that was just a mistake. Jim loading up on the assists here, going for the vampire gets him. Uh, I think he plays. I, I'm not sure that's true fiction. I, he's been playing them quite well. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that's a dead vampire. Here, come, here comes the Apo for sure. Got to be the Apo. No good. No <laughs> and good. he's dead. Straight up dead. Oh, he shouldn't have picked the dead, though. No, he's a regen. Oh, wait, no, 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 yeah, he's, yeah, you can't. That's right. No, uh, it, no, it no, crossed no. my mind for the first split <laughs> second before you said it, and then I realized yep. as you said it. That's the thing. I'm American, so I talk faster than I think. <laughs> Whereas you you're did. British, so you think a little faster <laughs> than you talk. So, Only yeah, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> okay, that is huge because not only did it fail the uh, apothecary, it also failed the regen. Um, so that is a dead vampire for this game. And if he was to continue. He is gone. Uh, he wasn't forced to. He chose to because it was on a. Uh, it was on. A, I mean, it was on a uh, an apple, so you get to pick the result. But the 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 minus move is dead anyway, so he just did it for for the fun of it. But you can't re, you can't Jim can't raise that that player, so it didn't matter. I guess. I mean, you know, you're in the you're in the playoffs. You can't rebuild a vampire. You you haven't got enough time. You know, yeah, that, yeah, fair. The yeah. next two rounds, I think I'd rather still have him as movement five than not. Um, I think that was a bit of a rash decision there. I think I keep the minus move just on the off chance I get through the next two rounds. Yeah, yeah, that's that, a fair point. Maybe a little bit of frustration boiling over yeah. there. CCL, uh, the ladder matches, absolutely. You let him die, you rebuild, you know, unless you're right at the end of your run. Uh, but back to the point uh, Fiction said earlier, uh, I think uh, I think we had, um, who is it? Uh, sick as eggs, proving him wrong there. Yeah, Caprion's the number seven vampire coach in mm. CCL uh, records right now. That's, that's pretty good. That's very good. So he knows what he's doing with this team. Yeah, I played him in... I played him this season, actually, uh, in, in a ladder match with Orcs and... There was points where I just didn't have a clue what I was going to do because he was just tearing me to pieces. His yeah. bloodlust, uh, his um, his gazes were incredible. He just his positioning was excellent. Yeah, he played very well. Speaking of bloodlust, there's our first one of the match. Absolutely. Just, <laughs> Fair. <laughs> thanks, Fiction. No problem. <laughs> yeah, Caprian, Caprian definitely talented with uh, with vampires. Knows what he's doing. Being good at vampires doesn't actually prove how good he is with vampires, J5. Yes, indeed. So someone should look <laughs> at his record on Norse, maybe, to see how good he is with vampires. I think that I think that's the connection there. Okay, so I mean we are running out of players to get over on the right hand side here. Jim, that's yeah. he's got to push right. He's still got two left. He's got the vampire and the thrall. Because well, that's our, th that's our, uh, that's that's logic you can't argue with their fiction, I guess, or or I should say that's logic I'm not going to bother arguing <laughs> with. There. <laughs> okay. uh, he does end up getting a bit of an elf screen in here, and his second bloodlust two in one turn. Oh, and that one's pulling something out. I'm just going to uh, just going to have to mute myself while I'm <laughs> my son. Just bear with me one moment. All right, sideline reporter Mini Flick is uh, on the scene right now, oh, right. saying uh, saying Jim uh, may be considering uh, a rush to the left. Oh, be careful of doing any more, okay? Flicky has not figured out how to mute himself, however. <laughs> <laughs> before, before he starts like verbally abusing his kid i should just warn him of that fact i <laughs> muted my headset and realized that i'm only using the headset for audio and i've got my regular microphone on so it did literally nothing well i've been there yeah 
I once was in a uh, a Discord chat playing a uh, playing a video game, Risk of Rain Two. You should all play it; it's a fantastic game. With a group of my friends locally, and we ended, and I forgot to exit the uh, Discord chat, and then I started watching. Uh, I started watching Gdanik stream as I went to bed, and all my friends kept playing, and they're like, "Why? <laughs> Why is Skuro?" watching some random Australian dude get high because they didn't know what he was doing. They just heard the grunting from the game and the weird trippy music that Gadena uses. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And they thought I was watching some really weird Australian porn or something. <laughs> it would be the natural reaction to assume porn. Uh, is, yeah. it's, why it's where my head went when you started the story. I was going <laughs> to end up with porn. Yep. It's how we think. Okay, so I think I think he's gonna ha- is he gonna have to blitz through that strength vampire and try and get into the middle? Uh, that 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 that's what I, I was assuming. Uh, he's having a long think about it here. He's counting every square up to see. Yeah, and just thinking that... what square can he block, which one can't he block? Maybe that mummy had to do the blitz. The mummy that stood up. This is um this is a little bit tricky here. Yeah. Because he anything he does, it's got to happen before he has a score threat, which would just completely pooch his uh, his response here. Oh, we're we're uh, gonna have to rely. No, he's not. How interesting. Oh boy. Is this? He's gonna be really stretching out on this one. Is I think. A potato? Is he gonna blitz? Um, Is he gonna blitz the strength? Thrall and dodge through the vampire and run run away maybe oh he's uh smart by jim now nah, he's uh i don't think he's gonna risk it okay uh, he's not risking it at all he's just making sure that uh that score threat is dealt with Whew. and now i guess he's gonna dodge him potato if because this guy can't score now oh yes he can yeah, oh he yes can. he can Oh boy, spooky, spooky times! Yeah. I think he's got to abandon this completely now. I think so. He's got to just run the. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, run back to safety. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Now can he? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have anyone. No scoring threats at all. So this is uh. This is going to be one nothing at the half, hopefully for Jim. Uh, vamps, there's no reason the Vamps can't try for this other than risking uh, a, an injury on a player mm-hmm. here. But they they might as well. I mean, in yeah. theory, they if they can hit that. Oh no, he's got he's got sidestep. I was going to say in theory, if they hit that ghoul, the ball could scatter <laughs> onto the player they want. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Yeah, Jim pointing it out in his own video right there. He should have he should have blitzed with that mummy there to, to pop the hole. Yeah, I think we all I think we're all pretty much on the same page on that one. Uh, but this, you know, what this is the uh, the responsible reaction to uh, not making that decision, not forcing it through. He could have still dodged yeah. his way through and just prayed, you know, because there's no real there's no threat of tackle this turn. So he could have just potatoed anyway, but that would have been a, a risk. Okay, hit on the pommer. Just a stun. Are we going to see another foul? Well, he moves away. So possibly not. I guess the only foul would have been from the kick, and maybe he doesn't want to lose his kick for the second half. Although kick not so useful on a long drive unless you get a blitz, of course. Yeah. Obviously, it did a nice job on this drive. It um, it stalled Jim for the first two turns, just trying to catch back up to his team. So you know, it, I guess it was worth it on that one. But you know, Jim's still okay. He's he's got that vamp off, which is huge. Yeah, yeah. Getting vamps off is uh, always on uh, on Jim's. Uh... On Jim's uh, Sunday afternoon uh, <laughs> to-do list. Definitely. So we're still going to have 11 v 11. Although Jim's got one more turn. Uh, yeah, Jim's still got a turn. He can... Uh, yeah, he could maybe... Yeah, he's got... And uh, yeah, interesting. Didn't Gafferin giving, 
Caprian giving up some hits here. Yeah, maybe thought. It. Yeah, would have thought maybe he would have protected a little bit better. Um, but of course, Jim's just gonna roll pushes, so it's yeah. pretty much irrelevant. Jim Powers. And of course, his pommet is stunned, so we won't be seeing a pom hit. Do have a mighty blow hit, though. And yeah, we finally find a pow. So mighty blow is going to hit elsewhere. Ah, he's going to hit the kick with Mighty Blow. So, yeah, Jim wants to kick off as much as uh, Caprion wants to, to protect it. Yep. And he gets him. Let's see if he can pull him off the field here. Nope. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, Jim uh, Jim can, uh, can't say he was outbashed, but uh, it's, it kind of feels like it. Yeah. We'll see if uh, that KO comes back. It's, it's not going to matter, actually, if the KO comes back. It does. But we're still going to have 11 on 11 here. Down a vamp and down a guard zombie. Caprian's uh, the loser in that comparison, but the winner in terms of the first half. Really recovering nicely. Able to score and mount enough of a defense to stop Jim there from uh, leveling this. So now, most likely, Jim's path to victory uh goes directly through overtime and that's not a position you want to be in against vamps it's not no absolutely but um yeah it's the position he's in um yep and jim seems to uh yeah he's he's like even last game he uh, last turn he made that little mistake but he recovered from it he didn't get frustrated and tried to force it as you pointed out he he made the right move and he dropped back and he he made sure that he's still in it with a chance and not 2-0 down and, and out of it. So, yeah, he's he's doing the right things. Hopefully we can get some thralls off the pitch this time. That would be nice. You know, we've yeah. got a lot of mighty blow to hit. Um, we really want to see that armor 7 breaking now. And uh, unlike last turn, or last uh, defensive setup, Capria now is showing a, a blitzable front of yes. uh of the uh of the uh armor seven thralls there um without jim having to commit much more than a single assist so yeah we'll we'll almost assuredly see him uh pop someone yeah too nice um i think i'd be going for the kick just in case of overtime i think i'd like to see that kick off the pitch if i could even though this is second half um, stole the chance for him to use it again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is going to go to this. I mean, if Jim's going to win this, it's mm. almost assuredly going to go to overtime. So I agree. At first, I was like, well, he can ignore the kick after this because it's not going to matter. But that's definitely not true. Um, and I'd rather hit the kicker than the wrestler. Oh, it's a high kick, though, which is nice. And a very short mm, kick. Yeah, it could be nice. Could put a little bit of pressure on. Let's see if he catches it. He does. All right. Yeah, high kick um, takes a little bit of a um, little bit of the pressure off. Gives you a fifty-fifty. Well, actually, more than that with plus edge. Yeah. Just to get yeah, the ball but if that hand. if that ball scattered forward a little bit, then Jim's got to rearrange his entire mm. turn around the ball. Whereas yeah. at least right now it's safe. Yeah. Yeah, and again, uh, something to be said. You know, I made the joke. Uh, Caprian's going to remove more thralls than Jim. Well, it turns <laughs> out neither of them are removing any thralls. Oh well. There speak we go. of the devil, there goes one. There no goes friendly Friedrich. Fist. Yep. And that's one down. You know, he's got to chew through. Uh, he's got to chew through one more. And well, there's a KO, but there is a babe on the uh, on the res the response and. If things play out the way we we expect them to, there will be two KO rolls. So not probably good enough, but you never know. Probably not, but still nine men for this can't, drive. Can't follow here, though. Doesn't need to. All oh, right. And oh, that is a huge go. swing in numbers. That is uh, gives Jim the luxury of a relatively slow and safe push uh, for a turn 16 score. Absolutely. And now anything going through at all to the to the Kaz box is dwindling numbers in uh, in extra time. 
And even more importantly, in in these kind of teams that have superstars and and rubbish, is less rubbish to get in the way. And yeah. that means Jim can really start teeing off on the vampires, hopefully with nothing in, in between, nothing to defend with. Uh, curious to see how uh, Caprian responds to a turn like that. Does he start saying, ooh, this might be unwinnable in OT <clears throat> and just go full in now? and just roll the dice and try and stop it. That's uh, as an undisciplined player myself. That's what I generally, uh, that's how I react to this kind of adversity. Oh. We'll see. He's I mean, probably got, uh, he's been in this situation before with a team like this. So uh, I think he knows when to, and when not to panic. I really don't think that's anything to do with being undisciplined. If you know, I think that's, I think that's the right move. And it's the move that I often don't make because I'm too conservative. Yeah, fair I think enough. that's a really good strategy when you've got to recognize when what your win condition is. And if, if this is it, if it's going balls to the wall, <laughs> then then that's the one. Yeah, J5, <laughs> I, I was thinking that point. It's like, oh, man, when you get too many injuries, then you're like, I can win this in regular time. Screw, <laughs> yeah. screw risking overtime. We already saw how the Vamps scored in the first half. I don't want to give them a 50-50 at that again. Yeah, but absolutely. that always ends. That always ends a disaster, in my experience. But Jim just yeah. uh, just tee off now, surely. Yeah. Caprian playing it real safe. Didn't even activate a vampire because his numbers mean more right now. And uh, Jim not getting the oh, uh, the break there. That was a nice. That would have been a nice throw to get off. The plus strength block. That's his only block thrall, so that's the one he wants to be blitzing with, so he doesn't um, he doesn't bloodlust on his blitzes. And now Jim leveraging his numbers here as he advances up. Yeah, I've only played Jim once, quite some time ago. And I remember him just being a pain in the arse because he gets numbers in the right places and he just removes options. He is so good at this type of blood ball. Absolutely. Yeah, it was actually his. Um, it was Crusher. It was the Crusher team that I that I <laughs> span into. And that was an awful lot of fun. I had to play him once in a league game. And he mentioned Tom Brady, and it distracted me. And I dodged <laughs> with the Saurus, and then the game ended. Was it to do with deflating footballs? Anything about no, that? No, you son of a bitch. That never happened. <laughs> well, it did happen, but you don't understand physics, so it was fine. Tom Brady's <laughs> not a cheat. You're a cheat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's flicky. It's flicky blob skills. Flicky flack. Jim I thought you thought mind. I was Jim. I can't I can't imagine you would mistake my voice for Jim's. <laughs> I quite like that, yeah though. Jimmy Fantastic but with a bad microphone. Yeah, we were both from the northeast, so I guess we have uh, similarities in our accents. Okay, so we've got one or two extra hits. Nothing, nothing too exciting, but I think more, um, more chance of just getting some good field position and getting a hit on that agility vampire again. Oh, oh no, no, nothing, no, nothing, Doctor. Satisfying. It's just uh, one day a uh, team that has lost consecutive games for. 20 years to the Patriots decided uh, decided to try and pull a gotcha moment on them because it was cold and then they brought balls inside and they didn't understand how air pressure went worked. That's what happened. That That's um, allegedly that's Tom <laughs> Brady's version of what happened. Well, there, you don't need to use allegedly because there was no court case, so that's what happened. <laughs> okay, here we go. Palm hit. <laughs> Bad Mike Jim is a good name. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. 
Come on, Jim. Palm in on the edge. Nothing again. He had to think about it. Decided he wanted a palm. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, if I had the power to kill people over the internet, Jim would have uh, come to my house and stolen that power from me, like Siler from uh, the show Heroes. He would have like eaten my brain <laughs> just to get that power so he could kill every fucking Norse player he ever spun into. Oh, could you imagine the <laughs> carnage with, uh, with that power for Jim? <laughs> hey, twice up. Hey, hey, I'm a Cam Newton fan. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I don't, I don't dwell on the past, baby. I look at the future, and the future is now. Quite right, Dr. Mombusco. I was surprised that he took so long, too. <laughs> I, can, uh, I can root for both. I can root for both teams until, uh, until they meet in the Super Bowl. Or actually, next, next year, the Patriots and the Bucks do play in the regular season, so that'll be a fun one, assuming Tom Brady hasn't retired again because he retired from football after winning the Super Bowl this year in my head. Hmm. It was awesome. Then we made out. I mean, that would have been the way to go, wouldn't it? Making out with me after winning the Super Bowl? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. That would just be the icing on the cake. All right. Caprian not having a lot of options here. Maybe just has to take a tackle, uh, a tackle blitz on that uh, on that forward ghoul. We do know anytime Jim exposes a ghoul, it is a death sentence for that ghoul. So. Yeah, we know this to be true. Well, he's a he's a trophy husband. J five. His wife makes like ten times more than he does. He doesn't need money for anything. Yikes! Who's he married to? Giselle Bunchen. Ah. She's worth like half a billion dollars on her own. Oh, sorry, oh. half a billion oh. euros because she refuses to take uh, payment in US dollars. And my replay froze, so you take it over, Flicky. We have a dead agility vampire, but the um, regen works this time. Rolled a one on the dodge, didn't re roll it into dead. Apple used, but gets the regen. So that is potentially huge for overtime, but it's even bigger, I guess, for now, because no Agility 5 makes this cage an awful lot safer. Wow. Yep. And uh, <laughs> now uh, now entering, no, he's still not, still not anywhere near the territory of Jim should win it in regular time. No. Uh, if, that had, <laughs> if that hadn't regen, then there would be... An argument yep. for it. Still wouldn't Absolutely. maybe wouldn't be agreeing with the argument, but I think it might be there. Yeah, he's still got he's still got that strength vamp that can pull some uh, pull some BS. Yeah, I mean, you know, if if you're in overtime and you get the ball to that strength vamp, it takes some getting down. Even without a huge amount of support, it's still, you know, strength five bludge. Uh, Fluffy, are you talking about Jim's team name or Caprian's? I don't know what Caprian's team name is. I haven't even looked. But Jim's team name is uh, what he told himself he would commit uh, commit to playing Blood Bowl in CCL to get himself back into playing Blood Bowl in CCL. And it um, it did the trick. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> okay, let's see if Strength 4 Thrall can survive another hit. He can. Doesn't follow this time. <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, Fluffy. It was just what he told himself he would commit. I mean, the fact that he is uh, muted and playing and has two co-commentators covering him means he's uh, not sticking hard to the whole 85% effort thing, but... Uh... You know, it's a it's a it's a mentality uh, to be able to survive games of Blood Bowl for Jim. Yeah, understandable absolutely. mentality. Oh, nice. Thought about the reroll for quite some time. I thought about the wrestle yes. rather. Decided not uh, yes. to wrestle. Yes, yeah. to swim. It is. Uh, Carl Lewis uh, famously said that he gave 85% effort so that he would have more energy for the long haul or something like that.
Failed Bloodlust. Running out of thralls, so he might have to bite the strength. Four. I guess he can get up to the Rackle. Yeah. That's still a very nice thrall to, uh, if he was to remove him. Whoa! Okay, so he decides to not bite. Um, he's playing for overtime now. Yeah, absolutely. That's probably, honestly, that's probably the right call. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's an experienced vampire coach, isn't it? It wasn't something I even considered as a possibility, but yeah, yeah that, oh my that's, God. My God. that's know, very good. So, right now, so everyone stays down. We've just got the one target to blitz. And what a very, very nice target it is. And he gets to blitz him into a mummy block as well. Which is very nice. Yeah, so it sets up the chain. Which means that he can... Get him into the follow-up block. Doesn't need it though. So he pushes him away because he already got him down. And instant pylon. No armor break. Is Just armor break. Does he consider a foul on that vampire? I think so. He, I think so too. He's he could I end up know. he could end up uh regretting it a little bit, but I think it's I think it's worth it. No, he's not going to do it. He moved his DP. Maybe next turn he can get an even better foul on him. Very possible, yeah. He just might not do it. Jim does not love fouling. I mean, that's a really good foul if yeah. it worked out. Yeah. But losing losing a zombie right now that could put him that could put him down a player in theory for overtime, which Jim would not want, obviously. Is that right? Because he's got what one, two. No, he lost the guard last drive, so he had he did have an extra man. Thirteen. Yeah, so he's got thirteen total players. He's down to twelve. Yeah. Goes down. Oh yeah. So yeah, he could foul. He could foul here yeah. and still have eleven for OT. Assuming the uh assuming he doesn't lose a zombie on the LOS, but Absolutely. unlikely with no kill skills. And also, just needs to finally pull his finger out and kill a thrall, and we all get a free one as well. Yeah. Five plus dodge into the ball. He knocks himself out. Okay, I would like to see the foul. Get the ball into the far corner. Send a couple of ghouls with it for protection, and then everyone else pile into that vampire. Yeah, I agree. I agree with, with you there, Flicky and J5. Um, In fact, he's going to completely encircle him, so he can't even dodge out if he wanted to. Yeah, there is one There is one babe. Uh, Caprion has it. Round mess. Here we go. Here's the big run-up. Or as big as a zombie can manage. <laughs> Deep moment in the match. Got him. Regens. Oh, that's been a couple of frustrating regens this half, but uh Yep. But he didn't but he didn't lose the zombie. Yeah, that's true. He's still got his dirty player. Yep, so he can keep fouling right now. Yeah, and he's it looks got like he's gonna gonna set up to do it uh i guess he's got to go for that tackle next i don't know the kick next the kick yeah next, maybe probably. the kick yeah they're both good targets i think caprian just got to stay down at this point i think so well i guess a dodge no yeah dodge just means you get blitzed by mighty blow yeah. oh here we go yeah so now he just gets blitzed with mighty blow 
Yeah, that's what he does want to go down. <laughs> that's yeah. what I thought. So he wants to go down, but just not over next he, to the dirty player. Well, he can't use the reroll. I don't know why he was thinking about that. Maybe it was just taking a minute there. Yeah. yeah. So I think this kicker is probably the next one on the menu. Yeah. Because there's no threat to the ball again this turn. No. None at all. So, yeah, we just pile in for another big one. Or maybe he does want the Rackle Frenzy. I mean, he can't get the dirty play. Oh, up yeah, there. he can't get the DP up there, so yeah. So, yeah, we can get full assists again. Make this a um, almost guaranteed. And here we go, loading up. Certainly is. One more to make it just a double one failure. And here comes the boot. Full run up here. Yeah, go zombie go. A nice got him. Out. He's got him. That is a uh, that that's gonna kick. Nothing to do there for that thrall. He's out. No more kick for uh, OT. Jim's got to feel pretty happy about that. And that is the first permanent removal. So we've now got down to ten men for the first time at the start of a drive. Jim's got through the bench. Yep. And now the only thing he can do here is score. And then we've got two rounds of kicks. Or, well, excuse me, two rounds of KO rolls. We'll see what happens yeah. here. Yeah, two rounds of KOs, but with three, there's always the outside chance that one of them stays out. Yep. Wrestler, wrestler staying out for this first round. Okay. So he's 33% to lose him for the match. Yeah, so this is uh, this is not a sure thing by any stretch of the imagination for Jim and OT here because, you know, if Caprion wins the toss, he's got almost the full team mm -hmm. uh, currently. What's he got? Three, six, nine right now. So at best he'll have ten. Um, and that's that's enough for Vampires to score with. We saw him score with, effectively with four players yeah, absolutely. <laughs> in, in action in the first half. So. You know, this is uh, this is still pretty spooky, but it's a hell of a lot better with that uh, with that blood step vampire and the kicker out. Yeah, I think we've all just got fingers crossed that it's um, far more straightforward for Jim. We want to a toss. We want to win the toss. We want to remove the the line again, and we want to march downfield to victory. Um, well, let's Absolutely. see if we get what we uh, get what we want. And we got to see what happens here with the. Uh, we got to see what happens with the LOS too. Jim could conceivably be at even players with him. You know, he's got the full eleven right now. If two of these zombies go out uh, on some lucky dice, then uh, real scary times. Jim very smartly putting his blood step edge four off the pitch to protect against the rock. Uh, will a kickoff result come into play here? Riot here would be pretty rough. It would, and no, it's gyms at home, but no stadium. He never got the money for, for the anti-riot. Yeah, this team had a rough mid-season, if I recall correctly, and when he switched over to his Lizards, and they had a great season until they died off at the end. Yeah. So I, he might have missed a little bit of that progression that he'd normally get if he was playing one team hard for qualifying. Because, mm. yeah, Undead normally... You know, don't need to rebuy players very often, and therefore they can normally save up for the stadium fairly quickly. Obviously, that's all irrelevant now as stadiums are gone for the time being. We'll see what happens yeah. next season, whether they, they come back or not. There's certainly an awful lot of people calling for them. 
Yep. So no, 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 uh, actually a huge effect on the kickoff. Jim getting an extra reroll to take into overtime. Nice. He's got four for OT to Caprian's three. He likes that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a nice one. So neither team used a reroll. That whole second half. I'm going to wager Morlock met 10 players on the vampire team, not 10 vampires. Fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, movement six, one turn. No, I don't think so. I think you need a frenzy. Uh, well, he has the frenzy, but it's still, I think oh, you yeah. would need a full 11 to do it. Yeah, of course you do. You might even need two friends. I've never, I've done seven before. I've never done six. Yeah, I need and to work on my seven. I've seven. seven. I've only done with sidestep. Yeah, I, we know more. <laughs> oh, kill, kill, kill. All right, I haven't seen the coin flip result yet. I'm just uh, waiting on them. Yeah, yeah, just waiting. Who wins the toss? And it's uh, Jim. Jim has Jim. won the toss. Oh, huge smile on my face. Jim yeah. wins the toss. The wrestle stays out. We are down to nine on the vamps. Eleven for Jim. Don't forget to put your ball carrier back on, Jim, and you have got this. <laughs> yeah, this is a about best case scenario for Jim for... Uh, for OT, uh, given the way things kind of played out at the end there. Yeah. Um, now, again, though, it's vamps. They're always froggy. That edge that edge five is uh, sitting right there in the yeah. middle of the field. Yeah, always you know, a threat. Gotta, you got to consider the blitz here. you got to consider a lot of things. Yeah. But, I think uh, this is this... – this... Sorry. Sorry, no, go, go go for it. Go for it. Um, yeah, I was just I was gonna just expand on what you said about the blitz. Is that in moments like this, that's all you're thinking is is how do I survive the blitz? And please don't give them a blitz because once you get through that, you feel like you're under control, and you can and you can work on it. That that blitz is the scary moment, isn't it? Absolutely, and you know, no kick on the field. Also, a, uh, a really huge for a skill that a lot of us write off often. Uh, mm. Really huge, uh, really huge swing for this game. Jim's gonna play this completely safe. He's got the reroll advantage, you know. He is in no rush to score whatsoever, and he's got to believe that the vamps on defense are gonna eat a couple of their own rerolls. So uh, he has to take literally no risks to try and put this ball in the end zone. Yeah, look at that. He's got his um, bludges on the wings, protecting, protecting the blitz. You say quoi, Jim? He wants as many double screens as he can possibly find out there. Yep. He's here, no risk. Oh, stop it, Pedro. <laughs> We're better than most people who just keep talking over each other incessantly. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least we stop and let the other one go. <laughs> it's a lot easier. I will say it's a lot easier in the JFW when I do it with Jim because he doesn't talk. So <laughs> at worst I'm at worst I'm at risk of talking over a yep. Yep. <laughs> and the very occasional nope. Yep. Well, deep kick there. Uh, you know, Caprians can't can't hate that, but yeah. I mean, really, really again, if he pushes for that ball deep, he's uh he's just gonna get run right past. I mean Jim with effectively already two removals. Um looking for some bonuses, but if he doesn't get them, he's still okay. No, and that's a good job because I'm a seven holding. Yep, barring a stun. Split. Um, still has a blitz. Don't think he's got a target though. I don't. I think we're going to see once again no blitz from Jim. Yeah, his guards are all used up. The mummies are used up. 
c'est effectivement le bon choix. Sure hands playing a part there. Very nice for him. Yeah. Yeah, sure hands such a good skill. Ball is completely safe in this stage. Uh, don't think uh, Caprian can afford to push at it at all just to try and screen it because that's not no. going to do much. No, absolutely. Jim counted the squares nicely. He's exactly one square out of max range from the vamps. Well, well, try. You showed up for overtime, so you don't have to endure it for very long. But uh, what do you want from me, man? <laughs> I just realized the kickoff event was yet another reroll. That is now oh, five. Geez. Wow, I, I also didn't notice that. Yeah, <laughs> Jim, Jim is under basically no obligation to score other than you know not wanting to risk any dice whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, we've seen what happens. We we've seen what can happen with uh, with kicks and the oh. plus two kick equity. Shame of all shame, Gorilla Metso going off the pitch there on the KO. Yeah, uh, goes that, that's going to be his game done. The dirty player. I don't think Jim was planning to foul again in OT, though. No, I don't think so. It's still 9v10. That's still a body. It, yep. um, it's just a zombie, but it's still something in the way. So Jim will want to get his um, plus two advantage back up as soon as possible. Pardon me for one second. Me at the bathroom. I'll be right back. No problem. So, palm hit. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, bro. No, sorry, not a palm hit. That's just a goal. Uh, and a stun on the strength fall. So, who is going to be the palm target? Would love to hit a vamp, but I think... I mean, the ball's fine, actually. The ball is okay, but I just don't see a way of getting enough assists in. Ah, yeah, so mummy blitz, of course. Just go with the mummy blitz. And push. Doesn't follow, just drops back in, keeps those thralls tied down. Bit of extra support. So Jim being smart, keeping the ball out of the vamp's range. He doesn't need to move forward yet. He doesn't need to move forward at all, really, with a two reroll advantage. But he will at some stage try and get that score. But for now, he's just happy punching things. See how Caprion responds. <laughs> yeah, BZL. Oh. Gorilla Mezzo just nipped, <laughs> uh, just nipped out to watch uh, Skuro kicking someone backstage, and then he'll be back in comms momentarily. Absolutely, and here he is. Had to check on. I uh, had to check on my uh, my Blood Bowl player. Make sure he didn't uh, have a concussion. Got to get that DP ready for the next round. If Jim can uh, finish this game off with a win. Okay, here we go. Um, we're gonna engage a little bit with the vampires now. Hadn't moved one for the first. Uh, first turn as is is weird is that he doesn't seem to ever want to move the vamps first turn which is um smart i guess no need oh look my replay froze <laughs> okay so we can get a hit on the strength five it's going to take a little bit of work but um we can get the hit in there we go. And as long as he gets him down, he's not in range anymore. Right, okay, so he is in range of the ball there. Keeps him based. <laughs> Frosty. All right, I'm back in here. So what do we got? Uh, field, field hit on the plus strength vampire, so he's just going to mark him and then move back out of range. Yep. Which is smart. It's just keeping that goal out of range. He doesn't need, like you said, he does not need to score. His his odds of winning without scoring is very, very good. I'm sure he will. 
but he doesn't need to. One day, just push. Okay, so a bit more base contact this time from Jim, giving Caprian some problems to try and solve. And he's really just looking. I mean, the even, the bloodlust have just been incredible for Capri in this game. Mm. But uh, he's got to start dodging these vampires away because he can't take all these hits next turn. And one of them has got a bloodlust at some point. Oh, and now a little bit of pressure coming in. He, Capri getting sick of waiting. Face, face, face. He wants the hip Yeah, that vampire. The, they're not rolling ones on the bloodlust, but that vampire has rolled a few ones on dodges and hypnos. Uh, Ace Flamingo 215, thank you for subscribing. Jim, a little occupied right now trying to win this uh, elimination game. But, uh, you know, stay fantastic or whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Two back to back hypno fails. So, Bludge Vampire getting punched by a mummy. Uh, we'll need to roll a straight pow, but, you know, stranger things have happened than Jim rolling a straight pow. And up get the thralls. And there's the Bloodlust fail on the strength four. Oh, yeah, it is. Not sure what he was planning on doing with him. Maybe dodging out. Potentially can't do that anymore. So, just takes the block. No armor break. Let's see what happens to the thrall. It would be lovely to have a self removal. Uh, just a stun. But stun pretty good right now. It is, and there's a few armor seven hits going to be taken here. So I think that mummy, instead of hitting the oh you fucking bam, bellend, is now going to hit a thrall, which um, far more likely to get down and remove. And yeah, so Caprion was really hoping to put some pressure on the ball to force Jim to have to do anything, but failing the bloodlusts, or excuse me, the hypnos that he needed to get those two thralls probably in position to pressure. So what does Jim do? Does he try and link back up with his team or just stay out of range? It's an interesting uh, one. Let's see what Jim I think. Has to uh... do. I, I think Jim might be pretty content making uh, making a vampire with no thrall support chase him in the backfield. Here we go. Palm hit. Does he follow it up? Doesn't. No armor break. So the attrition has certainly started to slow down. <laughs> More luck. <laughs> Oh yeah, Jim's gonna Jim's gonna sneak into the back end of that cage there, I guess. Yeah, two vamps in position though. It looks a little mm. exposed to me. You know the anti vamp. Oh, I guess he's got. Oh yeah, he's got the mummy to as well, so that makes it a bit doing? more secure. Uh, well, I mean that's edge. Oh no, that's the strength one. So yeah, he's uh, he he would have to roll some serious dice for for a hit there. Yeah, he certainly would now. That's a very nice positioning from the mummy. But there is a shot on the ball here with the edge five. If, uh, especially if, uh... ooh, interesting. Yeah, Ka I mean, if Caprian's willing to to make a uh, a four plus hypno gaze, this is a very easy hit on the on the ball right now. Not much he can do with it after he hits it. But he could chain the strength in there as well, but I'm not sure how he cancels the ghoul assist. Oh, oh and there's the blood one. that he's got to re roll that. I think at this point, I think he's got to re roll it. He doesn't, he doesn't. So he can still gears, he's got a thrall to bite. Ça 
I thought maybe he'd come over and hypno that uh that mighty blow white Tony and then have a 2D on the ball. Or uh, yeah, if he four plus the hypno he could have could have had a 2D on the ball there. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at too. Yeah. Yeah, you can try. So Jim just needs to be careful. He's got a couple of guys getting separated over on the other side. Three of his slowest players. Yeah, and here it comes. He's still going for fails the hypno gaze. Whoa, those have been petering out this uh, this overtime. Certainly have. Jim hasn't removed anything all half though. He just needs to be careful. His numbers advantage is only one. Mummy goes down. Yeah, settles for the 2D on the mummy, but he does get him. This would be a really rough stun because this would leave him very much out of position. Nah, he's good, though. He is. Now, 1D blitz to reposition and gets it. There's the stun. Can come all the way around to the relevant side, so that's a nice reposition. Now it would be easy here for an inexperienced player to panic and to try and force your way up the right hand side without enough support. I think he's going to have quite a bit of support up that right hand side if he wants it. Those three vampires are very handily placed though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's dropping back by the looks of things. Gonna blitz that vampire. Cannot buy a pow right now. Just Damn pushing that, that sidestepper around. I think he sidesteps and stays in contact, maybe? No, he tries oh, to disengage. Uh, yeah. Because now he's free next turn. That's gonna put a little bit of pressure on how Jim protects the ball mm -hmm. here. He's just gonna run uh, back. I run away. Yeah, yep. I think that's smart again. Well done, Absolutely. Jim. Absolutely. Jim's got more re-rolls than he's got turns to spend them, so he is almost assuredly going into OT uh, with or going into kicks with a significant advantage here. But uh, at this point, Caprian is just better off not re-rolling anything and hoping hoping yeah. kicks treats him well. Yeah, because Jim is now a GFI away with max movement, so we might not see Jim even attempt it unless he's forced. To come back up the pitch because of pressure yeah more luck if you don't know uh if this is still tied after this round of ot goes to kickoffs which is just a four plus roll with you the amount remaining of your of your re-rolls added to it so the the value on them is through the roof right now if you have a kick advantage yeah yeah try it's not it it would be Jim would come back into this chat after losing in kicks, going, "Yep, that's what happens." But uh, it's not absurd. But you'd be pretty upset. Can re-roll? Does re-roll? Wow! Oh, I don't think he should have re-rolled that. Yeah, I. As soon as I saw the double skulls, I just thought he can't possibly re-roll that. Like, I mean, uh, like you would. I mean, you were literally just talking to to try there about how you know two reroll difference isn't ridiculous, but three reroll difference is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, I guess Caprian probably looks at it. Oh, well, there Block goes zombie. There goes a zombie. It's and Wayne two, Fair. Jim's gonna be smiling. Two uh, zombies. That's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. That's a little bit un uh, unfortunate if Jim goes on to the next round. Uh, I don't know how much money. I'm sure he's got the money to spend to replace them, but he sure would prefer to have that guard and probably the block too. Yeah, uh, I mean, for the next zombie, round. Though, is a much better you know, piece than a, a non-block zombie. I know that sounds like an obvious thing to say, but yeah. Oh, thankfully, Ghoul survives. 
yeah, KO. Uh, KO not going to matter in this is as good as a removal of any kind, but uh, it's one less one less movement seven on the pitch for Jim to try and keep this ball safe and get out of this game. Yeah, because three turns for Caprion after this one. And there's the uh, failed dodge away. Does Jim... He's got to surely... Yeah, he's got... I was yeah. just thinking... He's he got can to, keep. Uh, he can keep so far away from them for the next two turns, and then uh, possibly just punch yeah. it in. Because by but coming the, forward, he forces Caprion now to swing back up and left rather than coming, sending everyone downfield towards him. I don't think but, you can call this a potato, new dad, when there's no one to defend against it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think, yeah, if you stay back in that position, you're just asking for everyone to swarm you by coming forward. It forces them up. And like, like Tri pointed out, yeah, you've got a, you know, you've got a three reroll advantage in kicks right now, which is as, as good a sure thing as anyone's going to have going into kicks. But you've also got a pretty sure thing to just score and win this in regular or in regular OT. Yeah. You gotta go for that if you have the opening, and Jim absolutely has the opening. Well, not if he keeps pushing, hmm. pushing vampires around. But just keep, I mean, they're slow. Just keep pushing them away. Push them towards the sideline. And next turn, Jim can advance and cage the ball, regardless of what those two vampires do. Yeah. And, you know, if you've got an agility for movement seven blodger in range, you can take that chance and you can uh, you can run it in. Might have a couple of one in 36s to make. Just needs to get in range next turn. Yep. And he's pushing that ghoul down there so he has an outlet if he needs it. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I like that ghoul. So, yeah... Uh, at to be completely honest with you, well, we'll see what happens. With those two vampires way over on the right there, it's going to be really hard for them to be able to defend at the end of this turn and then wherever Jim advances to, to then score. It's real, it's a, you know, that's a tough yeah. ask. So Ooh, very nice, very yeah. nice double push on the stand firm. Lovely stand but firm there, forces him to go backwards, not forwards. Still edge four though. Can now only make it to um, not even to the halfway line, uh, the, or the mid mark rather of of his half of the field. What I mean, yeah. So he's one shot of that line. Which is but a, he can he can cover everywhere he needs to cover right now, and both of these vampires can. That's a, a nice GFI there. I mean, Jim doesn't want to risk anything but right now there's no potential scoring threats his two vampires are deep in his own half and the other one's stunned he can free up some players uh jim can't ignore this uh can't ignore this uh strength four there because that's the only scoring threat caprian has realistically yeah yeah, so freeze up the palm. I was just thinking, free up the palm, and then you can blitz free the other zombie. Jim, uh, Jim might talk himself out of trying to score here. Uh, he, he did. I mean, he made that decision in the in the first half to play it safe. This is, like you said, this is a massive advantage in yeah. kicks. But you know, no one feels good having having those dice rolls <laughs> out of hand basically to end this uh this game but he's thinking about it you can kind of tell right now he's thinking what is worth 
what is worth advancing the ball right mm-hmm. now, you know? If that goal wasn't tagged, I'd like I'd like going for it. With that goal tagged, I'm just not sure you can. You know, the Rackle frenzy's right there. The other vampire is in position. Yeah, he's going to blitz the strength four. He's going to make damn sure of it. So this is where yeah. he's being very, very safe. If he gets a break here, he does. So now it's going to basically all be up to this Edge 5 vampire. Yeah. Who needs at least one GFI to score as is. I guess the... Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, this uh, this thrall here, Blue Borislav, can also can also score. But I think that's the only two. two three, five, six, GFI, GFI. Nope, this other guy can too. So there's two there's two thralls in the middle of the pitch that can score, and the edge four. And he's uh, for it. gonna remove one of them right now. Yeah, may not him down, so he's no longer a score threat. So really, this is all on the edge four at this point. I mean, this other thrall in theory could, but it would be a million dodges. And really, the only the only hope Caprian has right now that he can actually bank on is putting this ball into the hands of a vampire and going to kicks. Yeah. Yeah, try. That's exact. I mean, obviously, that's exactly what Jim's played out. The only, the only threat on the board of a counter score now is the edge five, and it's still, it's a, you know, a two plus two plus two plus this turn, <laughs> and a bloodlust to open up. Nice. Just to push through. Means he's gonna have to waste that bloodlust on the thrall that was standing yeah. there trying to free. free. Yeah, absolutely. He bites the guy he wanted to free. Just a stun, but that's irrelevant at this stage. Pretty horrible right now. I think he, all he can really do is move this. Move this. Uh, yeah, exactly. So we're going so for one D. Oh, he gets him, though. He does. Um, Ghoul's thankfully fine. That's a nice scatter. Stays in a tackle zone. And it's um, it's not easy for that vampire to run all the way around with a couple of dodges. Oh, he does have dodge. Maybe I'd just go through those three pluses, personally. Three plus, three okay, plus. Okay, yeah. Three, yeah. Three plus, three plus, three plus to get the ball in his hands. Interesting GFI there and not in base with the yeah. ball, though. So no, maybe he is going to run around. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's uh, that's better dice, I guess. Needs to get the agility vampire up and into range, though. I think he's got he's to get the ball before he does anything else. Yeah, here he goes. Yeah. The pickup is good. He's got it. Does he GFI away now? Nope. And, oh, look at this. This is exactly what Jim didn't want to see. Yeah. He can't get out of range. All right. So Jim can two dice him with block. Should be enough. But, ooh, actually, it takes a GFI to two dice him with block. Right? Oh, no, he's got a mummy right there. That's a GFI anyway, though. Oh, boy. It's a little scary. Yeah. A little it's... bit scary for Jim. Best case for uh, Caprian here outside of a win would be uh, Jim eating a reroll trying to put the score threat down. Yeah. So you mark so does, up, Yeah, you mark up the vampire. Keep he does going. get a free hit on that ball too. I'm not sure if I'd take that though. Do you take it? Uh yeah, I would take I would take I think I would probably try and put the score threat down first. But uh oh yeah. boy, this is uh Jim's Jim's gotta Jim's gotta be thinking about his first Welsh Open game right now, yeah. in which a six put him down. This is just a bunch of twos and threes, I think. Here we go, GFI. Uh, of course, 
Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, no, no. no! No! Makes it! Come on! Doesn't put him down! Oh, oh no! So Shit. he's gonna have to bookend him here with this ghoul or with this yeah. white. Yeah. Uh we've yeah hate to see it, but we've seen this end matches before, folks. I've got my head <laughs> on my hands now. I, I, oh, I can't believe this is. So, so look, though, Jim can still make everything. it really hard ah! for that ball to get anywhere near that edge five. But, um, well, oh, God, no, he's based. Ooh, I thought the Palmer wasn't based because his skills were blocking the thrall there. Yeah, oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is where I wanted the Palmer to go. Yeah. <clears throat> trying to cut off that angle. Actually, this doesn't really do anything because the... I mean, I guess it could force an extra 2-plus on the van on the edge 5, but he can just cut that corner. Like, he can just cut right through, go into the end zone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, really, all this... Uh, all this the ball-carrying vamp just needs to dodge and run forward and throw it towards the end zone. No, no intercept chance. Yeah. Um, uh, well, yeah. there's some dice to be had, and if he commits a reroll to try and win it, which I, he's got to do, mm -hmm. it just almost guarantees. It almost guarantees Jim wins it and kicks. I mean, what are we looking at? Two plus, two plus. Uh, I don't know what the pass would be. I'm bad at those, but I think that pass will end up being a three plus. Yeah, I'm thinking three plus or G. Yeah, it might even be a GFI to make it a three plus. Uh, calcium maybe, but then you're adding the uh, the intercept. Hello, fuck sake. Yeah. I should have just tried to fucking score, shouldn't I? Instead of uh, yeah, thinking about the massive reroll advantage. That yeah, was a tough call for sure. Or maybe I should just run away that last turn. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking after you ran forward, I loved the run forward first to draw him into his own half, and then I think you run back away and take. Oh, he's got to use a reroll. That's oh, good, no, isn't yeah, This is what I just I just said this. If it, now if he doesn't make these dice, if he makes these dice, he wins. If he doesn't make these dice, he probably basically loses. Like yeah, yeah, there's a few like twos a now, isn't there? If he if he rolls a one on the bloodlust, he doesn't score. Hundred yeah. percent. Then there's the catch and the dodge and the GFI all without all without reroll. Yeah. Twos to yeah. be rolled. This is uh, <laughs> as good a disaster as you could hope to have to sit through right now. Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was brilliant. Yeah, you know, giving you the hope on the first fucking roll. Oh, he's moved his throw away, clever bastard. Here we go. He you. bloodlusts. Doesn't matter. Oh, the bloodlust won't matter actually. But he also fails his dodge. Makes oh. the second. <laughs> Yeah, the wrong. That was the wrong double one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure was. Bloodlust saving him. Come on, mummy. This is a few two pluses in it. One, two, three, four, four yeah. or five two pluses left. And they. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I rolled the one in the other side. Hey, you rolled the one on the front. You rolled the one. Unbelievable. <laughs> Not for nothing, Frostlord also rolled a one on his inner. <laughs> no, how many ones were in that last one in the last action? That was crazy. Well, here we go, Kicks. If you Roll fuck this up, one Jim, just uninstall. One on the bloodless, one on the dodge, one on the pass, one on the intercept. That was crazy. 91% kicks are there. Here we go. Did I just have three snakes on my last turn? <laughs> he, had, he had a lot. Not only really snakes, but he rolled a lot yeah, of ones. Right. Jim, seriously, just if this doesn't go work out for you, just uninstall the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's pre-programmed. If this one doesn't win, the game has somehow pre-programmed it. <laughs> Jim to never win a kickoff. Go on, go on, mummy. Yes. So what was the final count? 4-1? Yeah, 4-1, so it's only plus 3. Yeah. Not a sure thing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was a game, all right. It was, wasn't it?
Yeah, four are going to make it, aren't they, for the because uh, the yeah. rerolls? It's slightly yeah. disturbing that he's still scoring. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, stop fucking scoring. <laughs> this is the last reroll. Okay, so here we the go. Last reroll, the last toe. This is for this is for <laughs> the uh, the keeper, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose. <laughs> oh my god. Jim, <laughs> shh. Almost certainly, because it wouldn't have gone on this long if I'd won, probably. <laughs> Makes it. Here we go, folks. This has got to be the mess. Alright, right here. Here comes this the mess. Coming. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy, settle in, folks. Five, five in p and penalties. <laughs> this has got to be a six-five win, then, hasn't it? Because it's, I think it's minus one. Or do they add one to what you roll? I can't remember how they do it. I, I, I have no one, idea. Um, hey, minus one. So yeah, when you made the six, I think that was a guaranteed. Yep, shanked it. There we go. Bloody hell, that was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Jim? Congratulations, you have advanced to the third round of the CCL playoffs, a, 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 a tournament that will yield you precisely nothing. How do you feel about that? I'm over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, well played, Jim. Commiserations to Caprian. Yeah, he played well, didn't uh, he? Yeah, quite, he did. Good game overall. That was a fun one. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> Glorious you. victory. Too bad for the death MVP all. to dead win, Farah. Yeah. How are you feeling about losing a guard zombie for the next round, though? Not very happy, to be honest. Thank you very much, Twice Hop, for the bits. And thank you very much, uh, Ace Flamingo and BZL, for staying fantastic during the game. Um, yeah, I wasn't happy about losing either of the zombies. I would have sacked yeah. them though to stop a wizard, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I was willing to well, sack both of them to prevent wizards. In fairness, the block zombie was Wayne Fair, so you know. Yeah, uh, it's kind of annoying, thing. isn't it? Out like out <laughs> out attrition, not out bashed, obviously, because yeah. he did take loads overall. But like the two deaths, he didn't take. Well, he did take a death actually. Yeah, he took a dead vamp, didn't he? But still, he, I didn't kill a thrall, which would have got me a free zombie, which would have been nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, he had plenty of chances to kill those thralls, but they, uh... Far from Wayne tough. taking the MVP. Wayne Bear stole the MVP. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. I <laughs> Thanks, twice <laughs> left. <laughs> yeah, his whole team's dead, yeah, that's true, PC. But you know what I mean, like... Uh, I was thinking, I was thinking, obviously, I was going to win at some point, and then uh, I'm like, oh, it's annoying having lost these two players, but, you know, <laughs> obviously, once I killed his vampire, I guess he thought, shit, this is pretty bad, even if he wins, then. Well, I should, should have tried to skill up the white, shouldn't I, in the first half when I was stalling out? I should have tried to get a touchdown on him, he's on 13, I didn't even think about it, because I was just trying to win, but I probably should have tried to get a touchdown on the mighty blow white. Yeah, that's that's in that realm of fifteen percent extra effort. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> right. Well, that's it for the tubes. Thank you very much, Flicky Flack and Gorilla Metso for calling it because I was trying to try. And uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.